Good evening, I'm back. I'm your host, Jack Remington of Quintessence Productions, LLC. Week three in the NFL. The hardest week to handicap. This is the week that separates the men from the boys. We won our last eight out of ten. In week one, we lost our first two picks. Won the next three to finish at three and two. So now we sit at eight and two. Week three is the hardest week to handicap. So, and I'm going to explain for just really briefly here. The top three weekends to handicap in order. Week number three, then week number one, and then week number 17. Week number three is the hardest handicap because you got your 0-2 teams, your 0-1-1 team, Pittsburgh Steelers, they have to win. If they don't win and they're looking at 0-3 or 0-2-1, that hurts your chances of advancing in, in the postseason contests. Very few 0-3 teams make it to the playoffs. It's hard enough at 0-2 to make it. Uh, the Saints made it 0-2 last year. I mean, it does happen, 0-2. But 0-3 is much harder. 0-4, no team at 0-5 has ever made the playoffs. Okay, No team. The Washington Redskins under Marty Schottenheimer started 0-5, and they finished 8-8 eight and eight and lost a wild card to tiebreakers. It's the closest I can remember of an 8-8 eight team or an or 0-5 team starting out and then making the playoffs. Very hard at 0-5. Uh, it's never been done. Having said that, this is week three, the hardest week. The first pick, Cincinnati plus three, they're at the Carolina Panthers. This is a dangerous game. Cam Newton is not the same. He's not the same quarterback. His downfield passing is not as accurate as it once was. He's taking a beating. He runs too much. He's putting a lot on his shoulders. He's a great player. I'm not necessarily a Cam Newton fan, but I know he's a great quarterback. He's a top 10 NFL quarterback. He's our franchise quarterback player. The team is pretty good. They have a good defense. But I think the Bengals, you know, Marlon Lewis is on the hot seat. He's got he's to produce a playoff. He's got the horses on that defense. He's got the pass rush. And I look for them to contain Cam Newton. And I'm looking for an upset here, a minor upset, but I'm taking the Bengals plus three. Okay, game number two. Division rivalry. Should have my head exam and taking the division rivalry. I'm taking the Tennessee Titans plus nine and a half They're at the Jacksonville Jaguars. I know Jacksonville's an up and coming team. I know they have the general manager to die for, the, the Tom Brady killer and Tom Coughlin. I personally think he's the best general manager in football. Uh, he's got two Super Bowl trophies with the New York Giants beating my New England Patriots twice in the Super Bowl. Uh, the guy is just a proven winner, he knows his football. I would put him up against anybody, including Bill Belichick. Uh, Tom Coughlin is a top five NFL coach, and I can't say enough good things about the guy. Jacksonville made a major coup in hiring Tom Coughlin as a general manager. The Denver Broncos made a major coup hiring John Elway as a general manager. I mean, who else could, who else would you want in your booth than, other than John Elway? I mean, he's, he's going to turn out to be a great general manager. We're taking the Tennessee Titans post nine and had the Titans beat Jacksonville twice last year. They split the year before. The Tennessee Titans have beaten Jacksonville the last four out of five games. Uh, I just think there's you know nine and a half points is too many points here. A pure point spread play. Jacksonville may we, may win the game like on the the weekly pool that you just pick the winners. I might take Jacksonville, but for this for the contest, I'm all over the Tennessee plus nine and a half. The next game, I should have my head examined. I've taken Oakland Raiders twice on the the free pool and they. Last week they had the game won 19 to 10, and then that Case Keenum beat them with like four minutes left in the game, with two drives, get two touchdowns. I wonder what was going through Chucky Boy's mind when they couldn't sack him, had no pass rush when he got rid of the Khalil Mack, the best defensive end in football. I bet he regretted the trade right then and there because he had he had a win in his pocket right with this, you know, at Denver, and now he's facing he's looking at 0 and 3. They're at Miami. We have Miami on the pool and in the free pick em contest. We just knew the Miami was gonna come out smoking. Uh, they got a better coaching staff than the Jets and the other teams they beat. We just think that Miami is an up and coming team. Matter of fact, I even picked Miami to win a division, so I gotta leave these videos up here. So uh, and I may have to change it because the New England Patriots got Josh Gordon. That, that changes everything if they can get him in shape, get him focused, and if Tom Brady can get him the ball, the New England Patriots just might win another Super Bowl. The Oakland Raiders made, paid Chucky Boy this big contract I just don't see him going 0 and 3. Anything can happen in the NFL, but like I said, 0 and 3 teams they have a hard time making the playoffs. The Buffalo Bills did it in 1992, I believe it was. Long story short, we're taking the Oakland Raiders here. We like Chucky Boy. Gacy's doing well in Miami. Tannehill's back, but I think Derek Carr is a better offensive player. I think he's a better quarterback. I think Oakland's got too many offensive weapons. Miami, I know, I'm, I know, I'm picking them to stir the pot in the AFC East. The weak AFC East. Uh, but I think Oakland, I think the AFC West is a tough division. I think I just think Oakland's going to come out here and they're going to do the job this time. Uh, Gruden's not going to let a 19-3 or 19-10 lead slip away like he did last week. He let Case Keenum beat him like that? I mean, I'm sure, I mean, I would not want to be in a locker room 
and have to face Chucky Boy after that loss. Game number four, another tough one, another one I'm going, I'm holding my nose here. I'm taking the Arizona Cardinals plus the six points to hosting Chicago Bears. The Cardinals have looked terrible for eight quarters of football. I know they got a new coach. I know that you know, they finally got David Johnson back running back. They didn't use him because they were so far behind. They had to play, had to play the Rams last week. We had the Rams here. We laid the big number, and it was an easy win for us. But the Bears are not the Rams. I just think that they have anything left in the tank at all. If their defense can just hold Chicago to 17 points, I think Arizona is going to sneak out a win here. But we're getting six points as a home dog. I'm taking it. Okay, game number five, the last game, we are taking another home dog. We're taking the Detroit Lions plus seven, hosting the New England Patriots. I know they just I know they picked up Josh Gordon. That was a major, major, major coup move. That was a Belichick classic move. In the NFL, if I've ever seen one, Josh Gordon, if they can keep him on the field, if he, if he can keep away from the bad crowd that gets him the stuff, if you know what I mean. Now, he sold cars in Cleveland while he was suspended, and he was a salesman of the month, salesman of the year. But Belichick is going to take a chance on him. He's going to tell him, hey, look, you're going to, this is what you're going to do. Here's your locker. And hopefully they put his locker next to Tom Brady like they did Randy Moss when they had Randy Moss for a couple of years. Get that rapport going with Tom Brady. I mean, uh, get that thing going. I mean, practice. I mean, but... They have a coach, Matt Patricia, he used to be the New England Patriots defensive coordinator. Wouldn't you want to have somebody that knows New England inside and out like Matt Patricia? I think it's going to be a close game here. New England may yet squeak out the win, but seven points. And they're, the Detroit Lions are 0-2, looking staring at 0-3. When I talk about wounded animal here, the Detroit Lions, they sure look wounded to me. I think uh, I like my chances here with Detroit plus seven, the home dog. I'm looking for a close game. So there you have it, the five picks. I, I like our chances. We've got to hold our nose. I've got on a couple of them, but you got to do that in this business. you got to hold your nose. It's like I hold my nose with Donald Trump. He upset Hillary. Entertainment purposes only. Hope you like what you see. Enjoy the games. Entertainment purposes only. Please subscribe, and thank you.